The Montana Supreme Court has struck down four election-related bills passed by the 2021 legislature, ruling that they violated the fundamental right to vote. MTN senior political reporter Jonathan Ambarian breaks down the decision. A nearly three-year case challenging four voting-related bills ended up here at the Montana Supreme Court. The seven justices were significantly split, but the effect is that a majority of the court ruled all four bills were unconstitutional. Courts consolidated a series of lawsuits from the Montana Democratic Party, tribes, and native and youth voting groups, challenging one or more of the bills. They included eliminating Election Day voter registration, saying 17-year-olds who will turn 18 before Election Day couldn't get an absentee ballot, a ban on paying someone to collect absentee ballots, and a requirement that people using student IDs to vote show additional identification. Chief Justice Mike McGrath wrote the majority opinion and said the legislature had authority to regulate elections, but not to do it in a way that interferes with the freedom and openness of elections. Three justices agreed with him that all four bills were restricting the right to vote, and the state hadn't justified the need for them. Two dissenting judges, led by Justice Dirk Sandifer, said the majority went too far, and the decision was, quote, unrestrained judicial power. They said all of the bills except the one dealing with 17-year-olds should have been left in place. Justice Beth Baker supported keeping that bill but overturning the other three. Plaintiffs said the court's ruling was a big win for young people and Native Americans' access to vote. The Montana Secretary of State's office said in a statement that they were devastated by the decision, but they remained committed to pursuing election integrity measures. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News. A new mural is getting painted in Helena, one that commemorates a tragic event in the area's history. MTN's Rachel Fortunato introduces us to the Helena born and raised artist and explains the reason behind her work to remember the Man Gulch Fire. The City of Helena Commission has unanimously approved a mural for the Lindale Tunnel. Art creates the quality of life. The design, named Wildfire by Elise Perpinando, commemorates the 75th anniversary of the Man Gulch Fire. A different story on each side and within the tunnel. So on one side, we've got Gates of the Mountains, a very historical area. We've got a lot of animals, plant life. And then once you go through the tunnel, on one side we have sort of wildfire life cycle, which is very important in nature. Other side is kind of Missouri River, um, Sleeping Giant, more plants, animals. And then other side is a tribute to the um, smoke jumpers from the Man Gulch Fire. The Man Gulch Fire was first officially reported around noon on August 5, 1949. The Forest Service dispatched smoke jumpers from Missoula to the remote area. The 15 smoke jumpers landed at Man Gulch about a half mile away. Of the 16 men on site, only three would end up surviving. But it's something that I feel like most residents of Helena have sort of a connection or like a you know, a soft spot for. Purpin Nano is a lifelong Helena resident who also designed and painted the Centennial Trail Tunnel under Last Chance Gulch connecting Memorial Park and Centennial Park. 19 submissions were received for the Lindale mural. Wildfire was not the original recommendation from the Public Arts Committee, but it was important to the commission that a Helena artist was chosen. The uh, Public Arts Committee selected the Queen of the Rockies mural but the staff and the commission voted on um, the wildfire. It's a local artist. The city will pay per banano $15,000, but the contract stipulates the artist will supply all materials needed for the mural with those funds. The project is expected to start in early April and be completed by the end of July. I'm very thankful to have this opportunity and to continue to grow our local art like scene. Um, and I think it'll be really beautiful once it's all done and tied together. In Helena, Rachel Fortunato, MTN News.